hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial we will learn how to create a netflix sign-in page using only html and css as you can see here on my computer screen i have this one background image and also i have this one form that is sign-in form also you can see here i have this image on this form also we have two input that's for email and password also we have this button and you can see on this button it says sign in and also we have this uh, text and also another button and also here down here we have the netflix logo so we'll create this sign in form netflix sign in form using only html and css so before starting this video kindly do subscribe to our channel and also share with your friends so without wasting time let's start the video hello guys welcome back again so here i have created one folder called login page in this folder i have two images and one logo also i'll provide all these image source in my video link description so let's open this folder with our vs code so let's open this file folder with our text editor so i'm using code so after opening this on in your text editor we need to create a new file that will be index.html also we need to create another file called style.css after creating these two files we need to link each other so here i'm going to in my html i'm going to write the basic html structure also i'm going to link my html to css so we'll use the link css and this is our file style.css next we need to add a title so i'll say netflix netflix login page okay so next we need and come under the body here we'll create one div with a class container Inside this container, we'll add another div. We'll create another div with a class name pgimg. Also, in this div, I'm going to create another div with a class content. Next, I'm going to add my form tag. And here, I'm going to I'm not going to add any action because we are not dealing with PHP. So next. After this, creating this form tag, we'll add, we'll create one div, and inside this div, we'll create two inputs for our email and password. Also, we need to add placeholder. Simply, what you want to do is simply duplicate this, because we are creating two inputs, okay? So next here I'm going to change my second input that is going to be password. Also this one is going to be password. Okay, so simply save your file. Now come back to your file folder. Simply double click this to open in your browser. So here as you can see we have our two inputs for email and password. Now come back to your HTML file. So after this, I'm going to add a button and here I'll add my text that says sign in. Next, at the end of this form tag, we'll create a paragraph. So I'll save the, I'll use the P tag. And here I'm going to say new to Netflix. And I'll add the question mark. Also, after this, I'll add the href a tag, which is the anchor tag, and also I'm not going to, I'm not going to add this, uh, not going to add any link on this href. So on this anchor tag, I want to say it sign in, or we can say sign up now if you don't have an account. Okay. So after doing this, we need to add an image. 
for this image i'll say pick pick to dot png this will act as a logo so next i'll say with or 100 percent this is the logo netflix logo okay so as i said i'll provide all the three images uh, in my video link description also you can download it from the video link description okay so next we need to add is some styling simply save this html file come back to your browser refresh it now you can see we have our second button and the first button here and also we have our netflix logo next we need to add some styling so by doing that come back to your style.css here we'll just do the basic first we'll start with the body now for the body i will add height of 100 view height also i will add display to be flex also we need to add align items to be center justify content center and lastly i'll add background image using the url i'll say pick dot okay now after this we will add the and the second basic styling that will be like margin giving zero and padding zero and also box sizing to be border box after this we'll start with our class container for our class container i'm going to add position to be relative with 295 pixel also we'll add height of 500 pixel next i'll add background for my background color i'll set black Next, we'll add border box. We'll add box shadow, okay? Box shadow to be let's give our box shadow like something like because we need from all the directions, okay? So I'll say zero six pixel. 20 pixel and also we'll add a color zero point four okay also here yeah, I'm going to add border radius of twenty pixel I think that will and lastly we need to add overflow hidden next let's go for our next class which is PG IMG for this one i'll say position to be relative top to be negative 60 pixel next i'll add with 100 percent height 370 pixel Also, I will add a background image. And also here I'm going to say center, cover. Okay. Next is our class, I'll say container, before. For this class, I'll, I'll say content to be empty. So I'm not going to add anything on our content. Also, we'll need to add position to be absolute width of 100%, height 100%. Also, we'll add Z index of 1. And lastly, I'll add background using the linear gradient.
okay and i'll set it 65 percent transparent next let's deal with our class content for this class i will add position absolute also we'll add top to be zero or let's set this bottom okay not top also we'll add z index to width and height okay okay we can actually change our height to 330 pixel okay 330 pixel also i'm going to say my display to be flex next we'll add flex direction to be column Also, I'll say justify content to be space evenly. Next, we'll add align items, center, and also font family to be poppins. Sans serif, okay? Now, let's save our file. Save your file and go back to the browser, refresh it. Now you can see we have our background image. And also here we have our logo and also the background image for our form. Okay. So next we need to do is our form. So let's start with the form tag. This is not a class or an ID. Okay. So it's just a form tag. So for this form, I will say with to be 260 pixel. Also, we'll add a height of... 200 pixel display to be flex also we'll add flex direction to be column and lastly i'll add justify content to be space evenly next let's deal with our form input so i'll say form input let me just scroll all the way up so that you can see clear to what i'm doing here so for our form input and also we'll add with the button for this form input and the button i'll set border to be none also we'll add height of 40 pixel next i will say outline to be none also i'm going to add border radius of 2 pixel Next, let's deal with the button again. For my button, I'll add cursor to be pointer. Next, let's say form input again. For this one, I'll add width of 260 pixel. Also, we'll add margin 5 pixel by 0. Next, let's add background color. So, I'll say background. Then, I'll add color. Lastly, we need to add padding of 0 by 10 pixel. Next, I'm going to say form, again input. And here, I'm going to style my placeholder. Open calibrations. Here, I'm going to add font family. pop in sans serif okay next is our form button here i'm going to say background also we'll add color to be white next we need to add font size of 16 pixel also we'll add font weight and lastly i'm going to add font family next is my content 
class content p because remember if you go back to our index.html here we have created a one p tag and a button okay so for this p tag i will add width of 260 pixel now before we go on let's just save this file and try to refresh the browser now you can see we have our form coming up so just come back to your style.css so here let me just remove this that's a mistake okay so make sure to correct that one next after adding a width we need to add color next let's add font size of 13 pixel next i'm going to say content p then i'm going to style our anchor tag that acts as a button okay for this one i'll say text decoration to be none and also we need to add color now simply save your file go back to the browser refresh it and there we have our form but it's not the way it should be so come back to your text editor so guys as i said uh, the form this form should not be the way it should be let's just refresh again you can see our our input our form is top of the page so for that let's just come back to our html so you can see on our html we have three ending uh, closing div tags so for that i'm going to remove one div tag and i'll just come where this uh, we set our class and our one div with our class name of pg img so here is where i'm going to close my div so if we close this so you can see we have this div okay and we have the closing div tag so if we save this file i think that should solve our problem so next come back to your browser refresh it sorry wait oh it should be div okay let me just simply remove this now come back here that's where you should add your div, uh, closing div tag okay now save it go back to the browser refresh it now you can see we have our form input also we have our image and here we have our two inputs that says email okay you can see this it's working properly next you can see we can add a password let's say one two three okay so and also this is our button sign in also we have this the p tag and another button that says sign up now also here and uh, down we have our logo netflix logo so guys we have completed creating our netflix sign in form by using only html and css so kindly if you enjoyed this video and and if it if it was very helpful please do subscribe to the channel and share with your fellow developers so till next time, bye.